Now let's talk about working with others in Google Drive. One of the great things about Google Drive is that you can actually work with other people on the same document or the same file right inside Google Drive. You don't even have to live in the same city. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. We'll start with this presentation. Suppose I'm working on a Google Slides presentation and I want to get somebody else's opinion on it, or maybe we're working on it together. So I want to share this file with him. So what I can do is I can either right click on it and click share or get link, or those same two icons are over here, share and get link. So I'll show you from over here. Notice that it disappears when I haven't clicked on it. So I click on it and there they are. So I'm going to click share and from within this share window I have a couple of options. Get a shareable link or they give me the link right here or I can enter the names of the people that I want to share it with and have an invitation sent to them. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and use the link option. Now right now it says anyone with the link can view but I can change the permissions. If I drop down there I can have them get permission to edit or I can have them get permission to comment but they can't make any changes on it. Let's assume we want to have the person be allowed to do everything. I click copy link and I'm going to send this person the link through an email. I'll click done. You may remember right here is where my other apps are so if I click here I can go straight to my Gmail right from there. So I started the email just right here's the link right click paste and that is the link that I copied from before. So I'm just going to click send and now I'm actually going to go into that person's inbox to show you what the email looks like. Here it is. This is the email that I sent so I'll click on that and not only does he get a link from me but also a, sort of like a little thumbnail preview. Either one of those if he clicks on either one he's going to be taken to the presentation. Now that he's in here he can make comments or changes so I'll just show you how that works. Maybe he wants to do that. Maybe he also wants to get some credit. So he's going to add his own name to it. He may also want to let me know about changes that he made. So what he can do is highlight this and he can add a comment. I'm going to get this little window pop up, click comment, and then he can write a note. Maybe somewhere else in the presentation he also has a question. Let's click onto this slide. He can highlight the picture, make a new comment, this time he's asking a question and just clicks comment. Now when he's making his comment if he decides he wants to change it he can click on this little three dot icon right here click edit and he can go back in. Okay if he decides he wants to delete his own comment he can also go into that same message and click delete but we're going to leave it for right now. So we've just added two comments now we're going to see what it looks like when uh, I go back in and see his comments. So I will open the presentation see that the changes have been made and the comments are now going to just automatically show up here on the side and as I scroll through there's nothing there nothing there but there's one there so I can go through the comments and read them when I've read the comments I can do a few different things I can just click resolve which means I'm fine with the change I agree with it we can sort of tuck that comment away I'll click that that just goes away with others maybe they require a reply so I click on it and a little reply window opens up. Click reply and then that's going to appear the next time he opens it. I can say hey there's more comments in there. He can go in and take a look at those. If I want to look at all the comments again I can open up if I click comments I can see sort of a long almost like a diary of all the comments that we've had and if we had a lot then this would go on a lot longer. One of the neat things about sharing folders and files with other people is that I am now in that other person's Google Drive. Once he's been into that presentation, he can click on Recent and right click on that and choose Add to My Drive. And just click Move. He doesn't have any folders in there. Just click Move. And then when I click on My Drive for him, this is his drive, now that same presentation appears in his drive as well. So he doesn't always have to go back to the link that I sent him. Now I can also share a whole folder with them if I want to. I would go through the same process. I just click on the folder. I can click share or get link. Send it to the person the same way. And 
what'll happen once I've shared a whole folder with somebody is that when I open it up, an extra icon will appear that says, oh, this other person has permission. I sent another invitation to somebody else earlier just to show you so it shows that I have access to this folder and I'm the owner and that somebody else also has editing privileges. And if I invited three or four people, then this would just keep stacking up. And sometimes I might give different permissions to different people. Some people, it might say that they can edit. With other people, it might say that they can view only Suppose I wanted to change this person's permissions. Maybe I don't want them to be able to edit anymore. If I click on share for the folder and then click on advanced, it shows me the names of the other people who have editing privileges. This is the other person. I can just change their permissions right like that from editing to view and then they are only allowed to view it. I can also just remove him completely from the list. Just click off at X and now they can't get in anymore at all. And when I go back in, refresh the page, and now that person's icon is gone. And they take my own icon off if there's nobody else in there. So those are some of the basics about working with others in Google Drive.